So today we're on our way to trim this 21 year old Highland cow who is a bit of a celebrity. Her name is Sorka and she's got a sore back right foot needing a little bit of attention. This is the Hoof GP. So this is the little village of New Luce, which sits high up in the hills behind Glenluce in southwest Scotland. And there's a farm very close to here called Coos and Ewes, where you can actually go on a safari in amongst Highland cows. And today we're on our way to trim this cow, Sorka, a 21 year old Highland cow who's got a bit of pain in her back right foot. These cows have huge horns and we're not used to trimming them. So we've got our fingers crossed as we drive through this beautiful countryside that everything goes smoothly. It's Sorka, is it? Sorka. Sorka. So where does that name come from? Oh, it'll be garlic, I would imagine. We bought her. We bought her, eight, we bought her 18 years ago. Right, okay, She's okay. She's been here ever since. Look at the horse. She, she, she doesn't have she doesn't have calves anymore. She's a model. I can't decide which foot she's laying on because she's going. Right, it's, she's it's got a wee uh, issue on both. It's the rear far foot. Yeah. On the far side. Okay, cool. So do you want us to work in this pen here, yeah? Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll use that far corner, okay, yeah. So, so we're just trying to figure out the best plan of action. There's no race here and obviously we need to make sure the cow is as safe as possible but also goes into the crush as easily as po possible and as quickly as possible. So we're going to set up in this pen but we've got enough gates so it should uh, should go fine. As long as she... Cows know the length of their horns. They're a bit like cats with their whiskers. So yeah, she'll be fine. Right, let's crack on and then we'll know if it is fine or not. Just look at how incredible she is. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Hold it. So we just need to get set up as quickly as we can. Just now we want that trailer out. She's actually quite stressed. Um, looking at her straight away, and we don't want her getting stressed out because then bad things happen. Right, so we don't want her to think she can escape in any way whatsoever and we need to guide her round the back of the cushion in so we're using more gates than it probably looks like is necessary but you're better to do it right the first time rather than wrong a few times and then right, if that makes sense. That's a girl. That's a girl. No, no. So we need to take these ropes off in case they got tan tangled in circus horns. But now we need them back on to support her. So Sorka is 21 years old and her feet will not have been trimmed very much because these cows look after their feet very well themselves but they are slightly overgrown so we can do something about that but also she's slightly lame on one of her back feet and that's the real reason we're here. Oh girl it must be you again You have gone straight to my head Take the pills and go to bed but I'm still hooked on it. Feet are clearly really good. They're really nice and hard. Which when we've had all this wet weather is surprising actually. But cows don't get to be 21 years old if they don't have good feet. Sorka has looked after her own feet perfectly well for the last 21 years, so I'm only going to be doing the very minimum required. Right, so this is the foot that we think she's sore on, so it should be interesting to see what, what exactly is wrong. 
Highland cattle have shorter legs than a lot of breeds of cattle, which is why I'm struggling slightly to get our feet up onto this paddle. By moving the strap for their upper leg, it'll pull our legs slightly further back and I should be able to get the angle to get it onto the paddle. Sorka here and the rest of our herdmates belong to a wonderful herd of cattle here in southwest Scotland. They live on moorland grass and actually this place is rather well known. Going by the name Coos and Use on Instagram, this farm is open to the public and Sorka here is the star of the show. So for me, the pressure to find the problem is well and truly on. To be honest, I'm struggling to find exactly what's wrong. Has she been lame in the past? Yeah, same right. time year, Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. She's got a crack right up the top of her, the front of her foot, right up in here. Yes. If you look, if you come in here, you'll be able to see, look, basically, it, she's been ill at some point, just slightly, and had a wee bit of inflammation in it, and that, that to let a crack in. Yeah. So, this time of year, as everything's getting a little bit drier and stuff, it'll start to crack out a bit like a riverbed. I know it's not been dry, yes. but they just crack like riverbeds. Because she's a wee bit lame just now, we'll put a block on this and that'll take the weight off that so it'll let it kind of heal a wee bit again mm -hmm. but then it'll go, it'll just do the same again next year. It's an age thing? Yeah, it's just an age thing. Yeah. It comes to us all. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what it feels like. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, well, well, well at least now we know. Yeah, exactly. Now you know that, oh, yeah, it's nothing major to worry about. Although this isn't an incredibly huge problem, unfortunately for Sorka, it's going to affect her for the rest of her days. She has what's known as a tyloma up in between her feet here. And that tyloma is affecting the growth and the cracking of the hoof horn that it's located on. Meaning that every year when the weather begins to dry out, that crack re-emerges and it's not pliable anymore. You see, when cow's feet are wet, they're soft and pliable and any cracking will flex around the tissue within the cow's feet. But when that hoof begins to dry out, it will really irritate the corium beneath, which is exactly why Sorka experiences a small amount of lameness at the same time every single year, because it takes a few weeks for her to get over it. Applying a block as we're doing right now though, should help to take the irritation and the inflammation away from that hoof, so she should become much more comfortable in a relatively short amount of time. If you come to here, you can see exactly what it is. So see there, look, see that bit there? Oh yeah. So that's interrupting the horn growth up here. All of the hoof horn is growing up here. Uh -huh. And then this little blob that's sticking there in the tyloma, is interrupting the growth of the horn and it's just aggravating the corium inside. Right. So it's like, you know, like if you did this all day, eventually your hand would start to swell up and it'd be sore. Uh -huh. So us putting that block on there is going to stop you from doing that all day. Yeah. So the swelling will go down and then it shouldn't be aggravated so much. Super job. But yeah, it'll just wear out or fall off. Yeah, honestly. perfect. Thank you. You put your fingers in water for half an hour in warm water. They go soft, yeah. don't they? And you can like peel them off almost. So when her feet are wet in the winter time, it's pliable, so mm -hmm. it goes round about the growth, so it doesn't hurt. Uh, so then this time of year, it starts to dry out, and it starts to get hard and like yeah. sharp now, yeah. round about this little growth. So, yeah. so that's what's happening. There you go. Okay. So she can manage, she can be fine with that then. She's not that... Oh, she, yeah, uh, she's fine with Well, yeah, at, least, at least now we know that if she turns out lane again next spring, we, we yeah. know exactly what's yeah. happening here now. So. Yeah. 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 If she went super lame, you'd be like, oh, right, it's something yeah. different. Yeah. But a bit lame is... That's what's to me, teaching people about lameness and the problems associated with lameness is every bit as much my job as trimming cow's feet is. So I always try to pass on as much knowledge as I can. Here, they do things a little bit differently. What is it you do with your cows that's different to most farms? Well, we, well, we, take, we take visitors on safari around the farm here to see the Highland coos. And, and they come from all over the world to see your coos. We've been genuinely, we've been really keen to come. We just haven't got around to it. No, 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 <laughs> you're too close. Okay. If you're further away, we'd make the effort. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Actually, my auntie was here last week. Yeah? Yeah, and she uh -huh. said she absolutely loved it. Yeah, so if you guys want to check out Coos and Use, where can they find you? 
Well, yeah, you find us on our website at www.kitchencoosenews.com or if you, if you just Google Highland Cow Experiences Scotland, you will find us. All year round? Or, All no. year round, yeah. We don't do quite so many tours through the winter time, but I'm not surprised. We, we are. <laughs> we do keep going all year round. There's right. lots of interest. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for allowing us to come and try. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you very much for coming to see Sorka because we thought our super moodle here. We needed to get the best. <laughs> we needed to get the best to check her out. Right, we're going to check out the cuddly calves. So we'll see you all guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. They're literally the coolest things ever. Now, if I want cows and want to convince Mrs. HGP to get cows, these are the ones to show her. <laughs> they do grow up, Graham. They grow up? Yeah. Well, I never. <laughs> They're honestly so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look! <laughs> I was going to say, we'd get one in the back of the pickup, but what? I don't know why I leave him. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, no, we did not steal a Highland calf. Although I kind of wish we had.